All right, guys, we're back with another educational video. And this week, we're talking about plant-based versus animal-based protein. But first, vegans, carnivores, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment for the algorithm. I don't care if it's a nasty comment. If you're commenting, you're helping. And for that, I thank you. This comes up because a new study came out of a really good lab that looks at muscle protein synthesis by Van Loon. This guy has been around for many decades and has done some of the best work on muscle protein synthesis there is. In this new study, they took a milk protein, so an animal-based protein, which is a high quality protein as my research showed as well as research of Dr. Stuart Phillips, and they compared it to a plant-based blend. Now what's different about this study is many studies that were comparing milk-based proteins or whey to plant proteins was comparing them to individual plant proteins like pea protein, rice protein, wheat protein. My research showed that milk-based proteins were quite a bit superior to wheat protein when it came to promoting muscle protein synthesis. In this new study, they used a blend of corn, pea, and wheat. And they did that in order to even out some of these limiting amino acids in these various proteins. Like for example, wheat is limiting in lysine. It's also, you could argue, pretty low in leucine. Whereas things like corn or pea aren't limiting in some of those amino acids, but they have limitations in other amino acids, but they were accommodated for by this blend. They fed these proteins and they looked at muscle protein synthesis. So a pretty basic study, but relatively elegant in design. And what they found was, although the animal-based milk protein induced a greater increase in the plasma amino acids, the levels of protein protein synthesis were very similar between the two groups. What this suggests is kind of what we showed in some of our research, which is where if you get to a certain level of amino acids in the blood that's able to induce the muscle protein synthesis response, just linearly increasing them even further does not appear to induce that response further. I think this is a really cool study and kind of fits with what I've said over time, which is if you can get a similar breakdown, like the branched chain amino acids, specifically leucine, between these dietary proteins, there's no reason a plant-based protein couldn't have similar effects on muscle protein synthesis. But this is the first study that's really shown that that I've seen other than a study on potato protein isolate, which is actually a pretty good protein, just difficult to find. These three plant-based proteins are actually pretty easy to find. And corn in particular has a very, very high leucine content. In fact, it's actually higher than whey. It's just very deficient in other amino acids. But again, because they were doing a blend, they were able to kind of make up for that. So again, I think that this could be a great option for you plant-based folks who are looking to get high quality protein, maximize muscle protein synthesis, but you don't want to consume animal products. Now, am I dogging on animal products? No, I think whey protein is probably the best single protein source there is, so I'm not going to dog on animal products. But for those folks out there who choose for whatever reason, many of them because they have ethical feelings towards the treatment of animals, or towards consuming animal products, no judgment here, uh, they would prefer to have some kind of plant source. Now, again, the problem with these isolated plant sources is many of them are very, very low in specific essential amino acids. And so by creating these blends, which I think is gonna be the future of plant-based protein, they're able to kind of offset some of those deficiencies. And at least based on this one study, we don't see differences. What's the limitation to this? Something like a milk protein, which is 80% casein, 20% whey, is still gonna be lower in leucine and essential amino acids than a whey protein. So I would love to see them repeat this experiment with a whey protein versus this blend and see if they still get similar effects. But again, this may be a great option for some of you plant-based folks. All right, guys, if you like the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you are struggling with your nutrition, check out our app, Carbon Diet Coach. Not only do we cater to all dietary preferences, we even have plant-based options. We have low carb options. We have balanced options. There's a whole host. We don't pigeonhole you into any one diet tribe or dietary style or anything like that. We let you choose what you think is gonna be most sustainable for you, and then we cater things to that. So make sure you check out Carbon Diet Coach. Link is in the description, and I will catch you next week.